welcome back to Delivered Reviewed. Please like, share and subscribe. Add a comment if you think it could be better or you enjoy the content. Maybe you want a takeaway reviewed. Thanks for watching. So welcome back to another Delivered Reviewed. Oriental Chef. Now straight away I'm going to say that this isn't your stereotypical uh, Kung Pao chicken, um, a duck dish or Peking duck, a chow mein or chop suey or a soup type dish. So unfortunately maybe slightly disappointed but at least it's something that I've had for years and I can compare it to another Chinese which will be coming up soon. Um, the amount of food as well just to say with Chinese uh, restaurants and takeaways is that there is a hell of a lot of choice. Uh, which is not the same for many other takeaways. I mean, even if you think of a common Burger King or McDonald's, there's a limited amount of food. But Chinese always seem to go above and beyond and serve English dishes. So on to the review. Uh, I had lemon chicken and special fried rice. There are different versions of their special fried rice. Um, but the lemon chicken, I think, was substantial. Again, as per most Chinese, as you get more than really what you're you kind of initially paying for. Uh, they're not cheap, but this is easily two dishes. Um, the chicken breasts are always a thin, probably hammered uh, chicken breast, hammered flat, and um, coated in a, in a batter of some sort. And these were exactly the same. Plenty of sauce, uh, quite a thick sauce as well, and more for garnish, the two slices of lemon on the top. And you've also got the special fried rice. However, the samosas first off definitely isn't stereotypical, uh, more Indian dish, but they are something that they serve along with spare ribs and stuff like that, which I guess is more um, that, that sort of Chinese style. Um, the samosas were a little bit spicy, but I like the spicy samosas now. A lot of people might not, not like that, but ultimately um, a lot of samosas I've ever had over the years are, are very, very similar. They've all got some sort of heat to them. These were filled exceptionally well. They weren't hollow at all. Um, definitely weren't greasy either and still crispy. And I had the mix, which is chicken, lamb and vegetables with a yogurt and mint sauce. So the chicken itself, um, as, as I've kind of already said, they are sort of flattened um, chicken breasts. Uh, taste was good quality, not undercooked by any means at all, um, not overcooked, so you know, just right. And you got a lot, you know. There is more chicken than obviously one dinner, as I say, and it can it can easily do two dinners. Um, the lemon sauce has got a, a pretty deep flavour to it. Um, it's definitely not a thin sauce, as I say. The special fried rice, different versions I had with chicken, ham. Um, peas and prawns and in a second you'll hear something that I think everybody needs to hear. So that just shows how crispy the prawn crackers were which sometimes you definitely don't get they can be stale and they don't have a crunch to them so I thought maybe we should add that in. Um, but on with the rest of the meal it's very similar. Um, oh did I miss off their beef? Maybe it was in the special fried rice as well. And um, you got quite a few bits of ingredients in the special fried rice. So it wasn't kind of lacking. Um, some special fried rice is you get all of two or three pieces of chicken, you know, maybe a piece of ham, and if you're lucky, a couple of prawns. But these were pretty good as, as far as special fried rice goes. <clears throat> so overall, I mean, I can't really honestly can't fault it. Um, I mean, I've been to these guys before and I would say easily you're looking at probably eight and a half or more to the point, nine out of 10. There's not much that's wrong. You get the free prawn crackers as well if you spend over a certain amount. So nine out of 10, I think is a, a good result. Thanks for watching.